Purdue's 215.13 includes new interface and feature changes that we'll be going over. For an extended list on these updates and changes, the link to the blog post will be provided below. Starting off, Hudu now has password folders, which we'll take a look at now. Unlike the tagging feature, folders will be global applied to every company. It can be used to organize passwords, restrict access, or assign your existing security groups. To create a password folder, we'll go into our admin, password folders, and we'll name our current folder. Once inside, if we'd like, we can press this button below to see which groups we can restrict. Admin and super admin will always be included, but for example purposes, we've created security groups like help desk and technicians to show off which will populate in this area. For the purpose of the demo, we'll only be using admins and super admins. But now that we've created this, we'll go back to our clients, and take a look here, and we'll see that we have our new password folder populated here. Now let's take a look at the KB updates. For ease of access, we've added a tool and KB navigation. Tools and have a relationship and other documentation, shareable links, and view who has access. On the KB navigation side, you can easily click through all documentation in your client slash company. Next, we have the ability to mark a KB as a template. When the KB articles are required to follow a specific format, templates can be created to standardize your documentation. To do this, enter into your selected article. To promote, we're going to select Manage and Mark as a Template. Now when we go back to our knowledge base and want to create a new article, we'll select New and New Article from Template and we'll see our just added article. We also have another one here. And we can also rename it from this section as well. Finally, we have pre-existing articles that you can now upload as a PDF format. Rather than recreate the entire article, this option lets you add your existing articles to any Hoodoo knowledge base. To do this, rather than selecting this right here, we'll be selecting the new PDF upload. Drop your article of choosing, and now we can take a look at the PDF format. And here we can see how your PDFs will look. For more details on the update, read the blog post below. And for any questions on these new features, feel free to leave a comment.